In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find where this photo was taken. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to the folks over at QuizTime for posting this challenge. If you're not already familiar with QuizTime, I recommend following them on Twitter. They post verification and geolocation challenges on a regular basis, and it's a really fun way to improve your research skills. I plan to upload a series of these videos, so if you enjoyed this episode, you can subscribe to the channel to see more in the future. Now on to the video. So at first glance, I can already tell that I don't recognize this city. Let's start by getting a general overview and see if we can try to identify which region of the world we're in. There's a sign here that might offer some clues. We have a vehicle here with some distinct markings. There's a unique building with a needle here in the background, and it appears to be a densely populated area. Let's focus in on the sign and see if we can find any additional clues. It appears to be some sort of a warning sign for plaza workers, and it may have something to do with this parked vehicle here that we've already pointed out. Notice the spelling of the word visualize. In the United Kingdom and Australia, words like finalize, organize, and realize are spelled with an S, but in the US and Canada, they're spelled with a Z. Also, if we look towards the bottom of the sign, we can see the acronym DWI, which stands for Driving While Intoxicated. Now, not every region in North America uses DWI. In the U.S., for example, some states use DUI, which stands for driving under the influence, and there are a few others as well, depending on the state. Overall, these are pretty good indicators that the location is somewhere in the U.S. or Canada. Let's focus on the parked vehicle now. We can see there's a decal on the front of the car that appears to have the letters TBTA, so that's definitely something we'll be able to search for in Google. We can also see there's a Chevrolet emblem right here, and Chevrolet is a famous American car manufacturer. If we look closely, we can see there's a spotlight next to the side view mirror here. If you've ever been pulled over by the police at night, you've probably noticed the blinding light that's shining into your rear view mirror. That's coming from this type of a spotlight. So this appears to be some sort of a police car, and most police vehicles in the U.S. are either made by Chevrolet or Ford. So we're still leaning towards the North America region at this point. So let's go ahead and search for the TBTA decal now on Google. Okay, so it looks like we're in New York, and TBTA stands for Triborough Bridge and Tunnel Authority. Fantastic. At this point, we can narrow the search to only the areas that TBTA covers in New York. Let's check out their Wikipedia and see if we can find a list of the tunnels and bridges under their jurisdiction. And here we have the list. Perfect. There are seven bridges and two tunnels, so that adds up to nine tunnels and bridges, and each tunnel and bridge will have an entrance and an exit, so if we take nine and multiply by two, that'll give us a total of 18 possible locations of where this photo was taken. Now we could search Google Street View for each of the 18 possible locations one by one until we find a match, but there's a more efficient way to approach this. Let's take another look at the image. Notice the incline of the street. One side of traffic is traveling downhill, and the other side is traveling uphill. We can just barely see there might be an overpass right here next to the wall, so it looks like they could be entering or exiting from a tunnel. If that's the case, we can eliminate 14 of the 18 possibilities and narrow our search to four locations, which would be the entrances and the exits of the two tunnels. Let's try this first tunnel here. Okay, this wall could be a match. Let's switch over to the map in Street View. So immediately we see this large building with the needle that's likely a match of the building from the original photo, but the building is too close from this point of view, so we know the photo wasn't taken from this side of the tunnel. Let's jump over to the other side now. Looks like we may have some TBTA vehicles lined up here. All right, there's our building. So this is looking really good. In the original photo, we could see both lanes of traffic. So let's shift over to the side here.
And there we have it. Here's the sign, the building, the wall, and the parked car. It looks like we're right outside of the police station. Now, if we were to start again from the beginning, another option would have been to first identify the building with a reverse image search, or just by searching Google for the keywords building, needle, and US, and eventually we would have found the One World Trade Center. We could then work our way backwards using a combination of Google Earth and Street View. It's a rather tedious and inefficient method in this example, but it's still another alternative as a last resort. So that wraps up our first episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.